Today we are going to look into interconnect parasitics and modeling of that actually. We already look into resistance, capacitance. Today we are going to look at if we have a long metal and um, how are we going to uh, represent the overall resistance and capacitance. Um, and we will look into a lump RC model, then distributed RC model. The, these are, um, I think this video is going to be focusing on more on mathematical representation of it, not actually how we extract that in or how um, star RC, um, sorry, how RC is extracted and loaded in a timing analysis uh, engine or SD engine and how different driver receiver models or interconnect models. It's not that. So before we look into that, those things will come in physical design. Today I'm going to talk a little bit mathematically. So you have an idea of uh, just looking at some interconnect and figuring out, okay, how quickly you can get an idea of the delay. Uh, you probably, if you are a physical design engineer, you're not going to do that regularly. Uh, people who are doing custom digital design will be doing this more often, and I think. Um, but still, I think it's a good uh, theoretical knowledge that you need to be aware of and will help you a lot. So it's an important lecture. Within, So what we'll do is we'll look into how we um, have a lump RNC model, what delay we get from that. Uh, what delay equation or what delay um, expressions we get and then look into distributed RC network and uh, using Elmore method of um, getting a delay or getting a time constant uh, for distributed RC network. Within Elmore, Elmore we will look into a tree network and then a series network. Then we will compare these two. Okay. This is definitely not most accurate, but simple enough. This is more accurate and how more accurate it is. So that's the topic today. Let's get started. Remember this thing? I explained this in, in past videos. I think when we were looking into delay. Yeah, so one of the videos in delay series. And this is when we have a circuit where you have a resistance and capacitance, capacitance grounded. You apply a voltage here between this point and ground. You apply it a step voltage. Step voltage is that is goes from zero to one or zero to supply voltage, the high logic value, abruptly. There is a, this is an ideal scenario. So what we do is we apply this one and measure the output at this node. And let's see what the output comes. Output comes something like this. This is not an inverting circuit. Okay, the transistor um, or inverter will be an inverting one. But we're just assuming the, the waveform shape here. Or we're looking into the wave shape, waveform shape here. So when you apply this one to this circuit, output will go a little bit like this. And eventually, we'll read VDD. What's the shape of all this? It really depends on R and C. And if you remember, I, we, um, we, um, I said that this is the output expression in mathematical form. So V out equal to VD. This is the highest voltage this node can get to or the highest voltage that we applied. And then 1 minus E and the power of minus T. This is the time on X axis. And this is R and C. So this R and C really come into the picture here. And this R C is also called a time constant. So and we look at that at that time that a delay which is uh, this for this thing from zero to since it changes at zero, so you can relate to this point or you can sit at this point, same thing. The time it takes for this waveform to reach to the 50% of the max value or the VDD. And that we look into this one and you should really go back and look at those videos if you really under, under, want to understand how I came up with 0.69. Basically you put uh, V out is equal to 0.5 VDD and solve it. The time that you get is 0.69 RC. 
and the time it takes for 10 percent to 90 percent let's use that as a transition time a slew of this waveform that was 2.2 into rc so if you want to calculate a delay through based on this simple expression i know it's simple right but based on this simple what you get a nice mathematical expression all you have to find is the multiplication of r and c or r and c and this is called constant so all you have to find is time constant that you multiply with 0.69 to get the rough delay simple delay and then you multiply with 2.2 to get a, a rough slew understood so this is the division part okay now let's look into an actual case okay, you have again i'm not drawing all the mosses here so for those that inverter is just a symbol so we have inverter um, then inverter output is on diffusion drain right then goes through via into metal one goes through another via into metal two assuming this is a pretty long one not that long here in the relative to this but relative to this one assume this is pretty long same thing then eventually comes back and connects to the gate of the n mass and p mass which are connected together in the inverter you understand that so what we really have is we can look into two different models okay First one is a lump RC model. It's just we are modeling this whole thing. Keep in mind the vias have a resistance. They are small, but they will have a resistance. So you need to consider resistance, capacitance of this, resistance, capacitance of this. Somewhere resistance will be dominating, somewhere capacitance will be dominating. But overall, you will have, as you move along, each segment will have resistance and capacitance, resistance and capacitance. Assuming this, there's no coupling capacitance here. Just every, every capacitance is to ground. In the simple lump RC model, we just use one R and one C to represent this whole thing, not as, as individual segments. How you get it? Typically, so once you know that, let's say these are pretty small, just ignore them. Main contributing factor is a long metal tube and its length is L. From the technology files, you can find this small r, which is resistance for a unit length, or resistance per unit length. Like, let's say resistance um, per micron, or for certain nanometer. So that number we know from technology. Once you decide, uh, this is like TSMC um, um, 22 nanometer, 28 nanometer, and then you figure out this r, you know the L, so when you multiply them, this gives you kind of resistance of the whole thing. This R is really that. Then the capacitance is the same way. This C is the capacitance per unit length of metal two. Keep in mind that number R, lower R, lower C will be different for different layers. And we pick, we are on a particular technology, okay? So C, is like the whole length you multiply with C that will give you the capacity. You just connect here, you ground it, you put an R here. Simple model, right? Okay, the time constant, and as I said, from this equation, all we have to know the time constant, and then we will multiply with 0.69 to get the delay and 2.2 to get the transition time. So time constant is the lump of this. I'm calling 0.69. Delay is 0.69 into uh, what is this called? It's tilde, let's call them time constant, not tilde. I forgot the notation for this. But anyway, uh, time constant of lump. Okay, that is R and C. So all you multiply R and C together and you multiply these numbers and you get the delays and transition time. Now look into a distributed RC model. Now the thing is, you know, this different segments experience different resistance. And uh, this is a, is a better way because now at this point, it doesn't appear as single capacitance. These will be different individual components. Each component, like each component here um, will have a different ground caps. Remember when we're looking at 
your gate and mass p mass it has gate and it has source and drain and the metal which are on top of them they have a ground cap so ground cap is really can be different depending upon what kind of layout you have underneath because you don't have a whole constant single i mean you, you can have a same structure all over the place and that gets same but still if you look from this side resistance is kind of shielding this capacitance so from this side or from this side when you look at they don't appear i mean you cannot ignore resistance for the longer line the resistance can can be considerable so the net capacitance will not be like the whole single number similarly net resistance there are capacitance here and while it's not be the just adding up of all of them so a better model is a distributed model which is actually this one i don't know why i pasted here maybe just to show you but um i think this one is this model is a better where you divide the whole length into smaller length and calculate resistance and capacitance for each of those i will show you example of that but what we use so idea is once you have a circuit like this how will you calculate time constant the we calculate uh, time constant of lump in this case we need to calculate time constants so we need to find an r and c for that okay that is, and elmo delay is a kind of method to give you that and you will see that even when you study some ST engines uh, documentation, you will see the mention of this one, Elmore delay model. So Elmore delay model is a way where you can find the time constant on a distributed network. Distributed network can be simple like this. You have a one on one, there is an inverter. Um, let's do this. You have inverter here and you have a receiver here a receiver inverter but it also can have a situation maybe sorry you have wire that connects to another inverter or you have another inverter here or inverter here so a simple case of a direct to direct connection no other fan out this is typical card is fanning out to other uh, active devices or uh, transistors so that can have this kind of a tree type of structure so when you're talking about distributor you can have a tree type structure and you can have a distributor we will look into both because the reason i picked both i could have just simply used this one but you will see that the elmo delay is a little tricky it looks when you first look into it, it looks pretty simple but it, it can be a little tricky so it's important uh, to look at both examples and understand it better Okay, I'm just looking at how much stuff here. Don't worry, don't get scared with this mathematical uh, equations. It's, it's too simple stuff. I think we can we can finish it now. Let's look into it in this, another video. Uh, otherwise, I have to talk in hurry and uh, I'm trying to squeeze the video into 20 minutes. So let's do another video for that. So I'll be fresh and I'll explain you that. Okay, so good for now. Thank you. Bye.